I'm Jeremy Costa, and I'm going to be your trainer for LinkedIn Profile Optimization. And today, I'm going to be showing you 17 steps to the perfect LinkedIn profile. All right, well, let's get started. All right, guys, so before I jump into the 17 steps to the perfect LinkedIn profile, I just wanted to go over a few key tips regarding LinkedIn and why you should be using it. So LinkedIn is the number one business social network with now over 200 million users. They just hit that mark, uh, you know, in the last month. And the average household income is $109,000 and 45% of its users are business decision makers. So there's executives from every one of the Fortune 500 companies on LinkedIn. And according to the online marketing company Maccabee, LinkedIn is 277% more effective for lead generation than Facebook and Twitter. I mean, that says a lot. I personally use Facebook and Twitter myself uh, for lead generation. And, you know, I... I personally have seen a lot of results with using LinkedIn. Just a lot of people connecting with me, uh, finding out what they do, and seeing if there's a compatibility uh, with one another to work with each other. So those are some facts about LinkedIn that you should know. And here are some reasons why you should be using LinkedIn yourself. LinkedIn gives you the ability to engage with the most influential figures in your industry, to boost your company's search engine page rank on Google, to get found by your target audience, to follow up with your target audience, to explain your ideal prospects, your skill sets, to get the latest news from your industry, and lastly, to position yourself as an industry thought leader. So these are all things that are really helpful when using LinkedIn. So here's what LinkedIn can do for you. LinkedIn can find perfect clients for your business. You can position yourself as an authority on your topic. You can find new opportunities and jobs. And you can attract more leads, clients, and referral partners. So what you'll learn today are these how-tos. How to generate more leads and prospects. How to generate more web traffic. How to be found by your target market. How to increase your visibility and credibility. And how to engage your ideal client. So here we are on LinkedIn.com. So what you're going to want to first do is for all of you guys that don't have a LinkedIn account, you're just going to go to LinkedIn.com and right down here you get started for free just type in your first name last name your email address and whatever password you want and once you're done with that you click join now and you'll be sent a confirmation link in your email so you would open that up confirm it and you will have just created your free account and what we're going to do is now log in. All right, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to customize your profile URL. So what I mean by that is if I go to profile and right down here, you're going to see a customized URL. And at first, when you create your account, you're just going to see a whole bunch of numbers included in your URL. And first of all, that looks really tacky. Second of all, um, you know, it's, it's harder to find. If someone knows your URL, it's going to look cleaner, more professional, and maybe people might even memorize it. So what you're going to want to do to create this customized URL, you go to profile, edit profile, 
once you see a screen where it says done editing you're gonna click edit right next to your URL and then you're gonna scroll down and on the right hand side you're gonna see public profile URL customize your public profile URL so you click on that and then basically you're going to type in whatever you want so one key tip that I recommend is including your name and possibly um, some type of keywords that have to do with your industry so like me I'm all about social media so I got my name and I also included the word social media so I wanted to fit in social media uh, marketing but as you can see the limit stuff prevents me from doing that so I just want it to look more professional and so I just left it at social media so you click on set custom URL and now you have your official link so you can even do this now you can go click back on your profile and then it's really nice because if you want to share your link with people or let's say you're on your Facebook page and you want to send out a post for others to connect with you you just click on that and here's your really nice looking URL up here and you can just paste it wherever you want and look how clean that looks and this is what the page looks like um, after you go to the URL so one other thing I wanted to show you is on that edit URL page let me go back alright so when you go to edit your URL you're gonna see customize your public profile over here and control how you appear when people search for you on Google Yahoo Bing etc so I highly recommend bubbling in the second bubble make my profile visible to everyone that way you know your ideal target audience can easily find you and even you know friends that might want to connect with you or family can easily search you right here by typing in your name and uh, also all of these little boxes I would check because each box right here well as long as you have it filled out um, you should have all of these checked so since I have all of my um, profile completed I have all of them checked so they're all displayed to the public and I'll get to showing you what mine looks like in a sec so there's still a few more things that you should know before I get into the 17 steps so the most important thing to your success on LinkedIn is to fully optimize your profile so the key here is to choose specific keywords that your target audience will be searching for for example in my case I, some of the keywords that I use to rank for are social media manager social media marketer and social media expert and throughout my profile I include these keywords so I have them right here um, you know where I'm working and you know even down here and I'll, I'll get into exactly all the details later but that's just one extra thing that you should know and something that I really think is true is that your LinkedIn profile is more important than your website and I say this because before people do business with you they want to look up who they're working with they're gonna Google your name and normally the first thing that pops up is your name um, if they're searching your name and if you look like an A player um, 
you know, someone that's completed their LinkedIn profile to the fullest, has a lot of recommendations, um, has some great work experience, your target audience, when they're viewing you, are really going to want to work with you, and you're really going to stand out from the crowd. And that's what I'm going to show you guys today, is how to uh, stand apart from everyone else and look like the A player. So, something that your LinkedIn profile isn't meant to be is not a resume or a boring bio. I see it all the time where people just have uh, positions that they've worked or work experience at, like, for example, a McDonald's from, you know, years ago, and it, it looks tacky. I mean... When people are going to your LinkedIn profile, they don't want to see that you worked at McDonald's if you're not working there, you know, uh, unless you're like the CEO of McDonald's or something, people would like that. But in this case, as an employer of McDonald's, no one's going to want to know that. They're, people are co coming to your LinkedIn profile just to see how they could work with you and so if it's not going to benefit you to display that you've worked at McDonald's then you shouldn't include it alright so now I wanted to get into the 17 steps to the perfect LinkedIn profile so let's start with going to the home page and I just wanted to show you something really quick before I, I get in the steps is when you go to your home page this is kind of like um, the, the Facebook news feed uh, so you're gonna be getting news that LinkedIn recommends for you um, you're gonna see posts or um, news that people your connections have liked or commented or shared all right here and if you scroll down you'll continue to see that so it's really helpful um, as well as let's say you have uh, uh, some news that you liked or shared then right in this area right here you're gonna your your news is gonna appear so if we're always active and you're, you're liking or commenting on news that is valuable to your target audience, you're going to look really good. All right, so now let's get into customizing your profile. So to do that, you're going to click on Profile. And now this is where you would customize your profile. So recently in the last couple months LinkedIn had a huge uh, renovation of their platform and they have all of these recommended for you features as well as all these other um, added areas which are pretty cool so the first thing I wanted to talk about is a uh, step one to the 17 steps to the perfect uh, LinkedIn profile is your photo right here so your photo should always look professional uh, don't be adding you know a blurry picture or a picture of you working somewhere else um, you know or doing something or like a body shot you know or something that isn't really professional at all you wanna really focus on taking a professional uh, picture if you haven't already and including it here because as soon as people make eye contact with you if you're not caring about how your profile image looks you know people are gonna think okay he really doesn't or she really doesn't care about what they're doing it's just gonna look unprofessional so make sure you have a really nice professional picture. So the second thing in step two would be 
your ha your name right here your name should only contain your name so you know abbreviations or just initials that's not going to cut it because when people are searching your name they're going to want to type in your full name and if you have initials or some added thing in your name you're not going to be found easily so as you can see you can choose what category you want to search search for right here so step three would be your headline the headline is this area right here and you want to optimize your headline with an attention grabbing statement so this is what's really going to set you apart if if you're the reader and you see something that is really catchy to you you're going to want to open up the email so it's the same thing here if you have a really um, catchy attention grabber headline people are going to be intrigued to check out your full profile so what I have here is it's is my motto success comes when you help others succeed so I'm just sharing a little bit about myself in that headline so you as a business owner want to include keywords that your ideal target audience is looking for so to do that you would click on the pencil and basically type in whatever you wanted and you can go to show examples and they have experienced transportation executive web designer and information architect visionary entrepreneur and investor so also make sure to type in your detailed information of where your location is and another thing is you wanna choose which industry you're in because believe it or not later on you're gonna see that what whatever industry you put you're gonna be able to also look for people in the industry you know really easily so I did marketing advertising because that's my industry but as you can see, they have, you name it, every single industry here. Alright, so, step four, connections. So as you see this number right here, at, I have over 500 connections. And something that you really want to have, or at least... 501 connections because the more connections you have the higher chance of you being found I, I'm talking about you want to have like thousands of, of connections because when you get a home you can see how many people you are connected with through your personal connections so I have 660 connections and through those connections I'm linked to almost 13 million professionals and so yeah that's that I'm gonna go back to edit profile area alright so a way to get connections is it's really awesome because you can go to your home page and you'll see this little handy feature people you may know instead of going right here and possibly clicking people you see that you might know you can just click on people you may know and then you're gonna see lots and lots of people possible connections that you might want to do business with make sure to don't just try to add anyone but connect with people that you really see yourself getting value out of connecting with them with so briefly just read their uh, uh, description and what they do and if it sounds like 
you would want to connect with them based off of that, then I would press connect. So let me do a real life example right here. All right, so this this lady right here is definitely my ideal target audience. Aesthetician, transformational skincare. So as of now, she's she's my second degree contact. So through one of my connections, she's she's connected with one of my connections that way. And we have 27 shared connections. If you click on that, it's going to show me all of my connections and all of her connections that we have the same connections through, which is really cool. So I want to connect with her, so I'm going to click on connect and invitation set. It's that easy. All right, so that's how to connect with people. It's a really handy tool to find connections fast instead of trying to search for people on the search bar up here. So step five is your contact info. So this is kind of hard to spot. So if you're on someone else's profile, like I'll go to one of my friend's profiles. So if you go to someone's profile, the contact in info button is kind of hard to see right away, especially if you're not really using LinkedIn that much. But it's a very valuable button because it has a lot of great contact information. So if I click on contact info, he doesn't have that much info, but you would just click on this little button and it drops down and it would show all of this person's contact information. So as of now, he just has an email and you know this is a perfect example of how he still needs to optimize his URL Let's see all the numbers so I'll definitely be having a conversation with him about that and yeah like I said he's my first connection so if I go back to the edit area on my profile I'll show you how my contact in info area looks. So I click on that. I got my email address. So you're going to want to include both your personal email address and your actual business email address. There's uh, The reason why is because sometimes if you just, some people just include their personal. If you just include you know this is my personal if I included my personal right here um, which is clickable and I didn't include I didn't include my business email address then it doesn't look as professional and people might even question in their head you know before because this is a very first section that is viewed on your profile so they might not have seen what I do and all all the things I'm doing so they're gonna judge me and say hey well look he only has a personal where's his business email address and it just doesn't look as professional so if you have both definitely include both um, I like to put the professional one first business one first so that people see it right away and then you want to include the personal as well because it shows that you're basically extending and reaching out to people your ideal target audience and saying hey look you can personally get in touch with me as well so it's really cool I don't have my phone phone number there because um, I just don't want people randomly calling me but if you have like a business phone number I think that would be appropriate to put it right here 
you just click on the little pencil icon and then right here I have my Skype ID name which is very handy to Skype with uh, other business owners that want to have like a one-on-one -on -one call and really get to know me more and see what I'm about um, I've used this numerous times and it's a great place for people to easily see your information there so I'll scroll down a little bit more and this is also in your contact inf information box so if you have a Twitter account I highly recommend linking it up click on the pencil and you simply go to add Twitter account and let's say you have a personal and a business that would be a good and appropriate time to add either your personal or business if you haven't added it authorize the app All right. and then that was mine that I already added so display your Twitter Twitter account on your LinkedIn profile check it so it is showing save changes and then you're gonna wanna go back edit profile back into your edit contact info box and something that is really important for you guys to do is on this website area rather than you just typing the URL to your website this is what I've done it, it's basically LinkedIn your LinkedIn profile is kinda like a website so if you're familiar with SEO search engine optimization you're gonna wanna add keywords throughout your website that will rank you higher in the search engines so I did the same for my LinkedIn profile because the same rules apply so I included all the types of services and areas of work that I work in all right here so each one here links to my website there it is so to do the same thing I did to get your keywords right here instead of having it as personal website or company website or anything else you click on other then you're able to type in your keywords right here like I did and then you just put in your website URL another great idea is to let's say you have a landing page you can type in the URL to the landing page right here and you can drive traffic to it so that was step six step seven is your summary section you're gonna want to use as many keywords as you can in the summary section without sounding tacky so if I do control F search social media you could see where I used it throughout my summary so step 8 is in your summary you want to speak directly to your target market so they know they should connect with you so what I have here is I basically talk about you know my passion and how I got involved with my business and you can do the same on that area I even included my motto which if you have a motto I think it's highly beneficial to include it notice how I have breaks in between the paragraphs instead of having it all condensed into a thick paragraph it's nicely um, spaced so it's it's a lot more easily readable I have some stats right here my goal and so this is where reaching out to your target audience comes in I have my goal is to help other business owners effectively use social media to expand their reach 
find their target audience and generate more sales. So then after that I include a call to action which is connect with me if and this is the part where you want to solve your target audience problem. So here are my solutions to their problem. So I'll read one for you. Is Connect with me if you want fast answers on how to get results through social media. Or connect with me if you're using social media but really want to know if you're taking full advantage of it. And that's when I would give them a free audit of their whole online presence. So instead of just leaving them with just this part right here, I also included my contact information. So contact me for custom solution to all of your needs. Give them my email, my personal. And I also have an offer. Like my profile, we can do the same for you. And I would basically fully optimize their profile like mine and what I'm showing you guys how to do. So in step nine, I'm going to just scroll past experience and go to projects. So use the pro project section to promote white papers, downloads, or to showcase products you are currently promoting. So what I did here is I have you know 15 minute social I'm promoting it and as well as 10 minute pages so it's a great way to showcase even if it's not your own service and you, you have a partnership with someone else it's a great way to add that right here so you can get D credit for you know your projects or if you're an affiliate this would be a perfect opportunity to add the name of the company and, company and a little description of what it can do for your target audience. So another cool feature about the projects area is let's say there's multiple people working on the project or um, also part of it, you can add team members. So if you click on that, you can see team members. And it's really nice because it'll link up to their profile, which is really cool. So let's head to step 10, skills and expertise. So yeah, you're going to scroll down to skills and expertise. And let's say you don't have you, your skills and expertise isn't showing up or you know even honors and awards might not be showing up so to add this all to your profile you just simply scroll up and under recommended for you it'll show you tabs which you have not added to your profile yet so recommended for you these are all tabs I haven't added just because I don't have any benefit using them so that's why they're still there but let's say you want to use courses you just click on it and then see how it just literally dropped into my whole profile section over here and then you add the information and it becomes part of this long profile you have right here so that's just something I wanted to clarify before we gets further more into depth here so skills and expertise would be one of these tabs right here that you would have to click on to have it be part of your profile so once you click on that it'll drop down onto your profile right here and this tool is amazing because people are gonna wanna see what others are saying about you and when you get endorsed for skills that you're, you want to be known for, that makes you look really good. 
and people want to work with you. So it ranks what you've been most endorsed for. So the most people have ranked me for social media marketing. It's really cool too because you can just hover over it and it'll you can even click on it watch then how sweet is this now you can find other professionals that have the same keywords same skills as you and you you know it could be competitors you can go through their profiles you know all these people and if they're not your competitors and you want to connect with them it's a really nice way to find people so I'll go back here to the profile and something you want to do with your skills and expertise is key keyword load your skills an expertise section for terms you want to be found for so all of these skills right here are things I want to be found for so in step 11 it, uh, I want to add that ensure that your endorsements you receive are skills you want recognition for so a skill and expertise like let's say you've done construction in the past but aren't doing construction anymore and you don't even have work for that so you're not going to want to add the construction skill even though you might have been really good at being a construction worker so step 12 is I'm going to go back up to the experience section so remember to use keywords again when filling out your experience section right here so the first thing you want to do is not make this mistake which is when they go when they go to add a job description of where they have worked people tend to put let's say they were a CEO or founder they would include that here and that's not keywords is it so that's not appropriate to put here so like see because it says title so people might put like CEO that's something that's not easily searchable for and won't really help in your rank and it's not catchy too so your title would be keywords that you want to be found for again so I have all mine here social media marketing social media manager social media training um, also you want to include the company name where you worked for that experience so I mean this media enterprises which uh, this is really cool because since I have a company page on LinkedIn as well what's gonna happen is when I click on that once I save it it's gonna be this link is gonna be clickable so people can automatically click on that company and it'll go to my LinkedIn company page which is really cool so I uh, highly recommend having a company page as well uh, but I'm not going to go into that. We have another trainer that is going to be walking you through that. So, time period is when you started, and you know, if it's to present, then if you're still currently working there, you would check that box. And then for your description, let me um, zoom out so you can see the description. So, here's a description that you would add in that box so I basically have here what I do so you want to have what you do and then how you can help so kind of like the summary area this little area right here is basically your call to action 
your how you can help solve your ideal clients problems through your services so this is a section you want to add that and step 13 would be to use all opportunities for strategic keywording that makes sense so if I go to search for social media look at all of those keywords they all make sense too all right so step 14 would be also in your experience section like I just said you're you're gonna want to include your unique selling proposition so you want to state a problem that your target audience has and offer them a solution also make sure that you add your services right here so these are all the services I have and first of all it's great because if someone's now looking for a service and I rank high in Google there's a higher chance of let's say they need Facebook marketing training and they type it in Google and because I have a lot of connections because my profile is fully optimized I'm gonna be there's a greater chance of me being found and someone might find me just through these keywords right here so definitely add your services right here in your um, experience section so the next thing would be step 15 recommendations so you want to have recommendations on your profile before you really start connecting with people so what's cool is people can leave recommendations for a specific work experience that you've had so right here we have people leaving great recommendations for me and that boosts my credibility when there's a third party saying good things about you you know nowadays it's all about not how how much experience you have it's not about how many years you've been working at a specific spot but it's it's really about what you can do now to help someone so if you're if you just started a year ago in your business niche and you have a lot of people saying great things about you and you're producing great results then you're gonna wanna have a lot of recommendations on your LinkedIn profile and regardless people aren't gonna look that you've worked for a year if you look like an A player from all these people saying good things about you so that is probably one of the most important parts on your LinkedIn profile is to have recommendations so one one way to start getting the recommendations is through you know clients that you've worked with um, past past employers past past employees um, I don't recommend just uh, talking to family or friends that did not work with you and saying hey can you give me a recommendation because I need some because uh, the re recommendations aren't supposed to just be oh well he's a great person you should work with him recommendations are results so you want the person giving leaving your recommendation to include results that they have gotten from working with you so make sure you make that very clear when you're asking for someone to give you a recommendation is that they include results that uh, they have gotten from working with you all right so step 16 is one of my favorites which is groups it's all the way down here so if I click on that pencil it shows my groups so there's two really great reasons why you should be part of groups groups are a must to be a part of the first reason is because 
groups have a lot of people that share knowledgeable content and news. So you're going to want to be part of two different groups. Groups that you can learn valuable information from. So let's say you're a fitness trainer. You can join a group that has other professional fitness trainers that are knowledgeable and you can get some great content, great news from them. Maybe even join up with someone and start a partnership. So that's one way groups are valuable. The second way is for you to be seen as the person in your niche that is really um, knowledgeable. So for example, you'll see two different types of groups that I'm in. I'm in groups that are for social media, which is for my news and all that. But then I also have groups for my target audience, which are business owners. So, first of all, by being part of a group that your target audience is um, part of, you're found more easily, very easily, in fact, um, for whatever services that you have, which is awesome. And secondly, let's say you have weekly blog posts um, and you're already sharing them. You can share it in your group. So, if I click on, let's go to fitness trainers which is a group I'm part of it's also a great place you can you can um, have discussions you can have a poll and get feedback from people so these discussions are really cool because you know, this person put, what are you eating and doing to get rid of your excess weight? I'm sure she has something that she can sell. And then also, people can follow you, which is really cool. So when you follow someone, or if someone follows you, they're going to start getting more news in their news feed on the homepage from you. So the last step I wanted to show you guys is in the honors and awards section. So let me go to... Edit profile. This this is definitely one of my favorite areas on the LinkedIn profile. So honors and awards. So you can put any significant media attention awards or achievements in the honors and awards section for added credibility. So what I have here are, you know, badges. I got a badge for completing this uh, Facebook marketing training. And so people can see that you're knowledgeable at something that you want to be knowledgeable for. Um, you know, certification, qualified social media manager by Elance. And that's where the third party comes in, um, especially if it's a well recognizable name that you want to put that in the title right here so it automatically gives you credibility and then make sure you actually include a description every time and this description is going to highlight uh, your award or honor and if it's really attention grabbing and is that wow factor that's really going to look good for your credibility. So I wanted to show you guys a few bonus sections on your profile. On your education area, you can add your education. You know, you can click on the plus button to add a second education. I got my college and my high school right there. Uh, under additional info, uh, there's an interests. So you your interests tab is going to be right here, and you're going to want to add that because the interests area is where you can add uh, ser types of services that you offer. Those are your interests. So you would add that there. Um, 
people that you, you know, other leaders that you've learned from or other people in your industry that you have learned from or admire, you want to put that in your interest area. So I started off first with my keywords that I want to be ranked for. Um, I also included interests of terms that my target audience have so health fitness um, I also put some of my own interests that of course aren't gonna rank me for anything but it really shows my personality and then this whole section is an area which is awesome because these are all people that I've personally kind of like mentors or read their books or learned from and that have been really valuable in my you know success on social media so which is really what, what is really cool is these are all linked up to their personal profiles so if I click on you know let's say Mari Smith there she is so it's a great way to show that okay yeah like these aren't some just random names or of, of course Mari Smith is very well known in the social media marketing sphere so that adds instant credibility that you have you have her there so that means you're affiliated with her which gives you even more credibility so there's also additional info that I haven't put anything personal details you know you could add your birthday or marital status um, if you want it's not recommended um, it's just something if you want to showcase that for fun to your your ideal target audience advice for contacting Jeremy um, this is just things that you wanna extra things that you wanna basically talk about like your details of availability um, etc area organizations um, I'm not part of any personal organization so if you aren't either you can just add in um, services that services that you provide um, as organizations and that's what I've done here uh, there's also another section on your profile that I haven't went over which is certifications this is huge certifications you could add your own certifications but if you don't have any you could just add your keywords which really looks good instead of leaving it blank something that I haven't went over yet and I'll do that real quick is that see this little up and down arrow literally you can it says drag to rearrange profile section so you can literally change your layout of your profile and move move it which is really cool so if I want these switched around bam alright so the last thing I wanted to cover was publications if you've written any books or have been part of writing a book this is a great opportunity to um, add that right here instant credibility if you've written a book before so definitely you know add it here you would add the publication the title publication date even the URL where someone can buy it which is a great tool to use for um, driving traffic to a book you want to sell author and then a description of what the books about so mine mine's coming soon so even if you're like if you don't have a book yet and you're working on it mine, mine's gonna just be an ebook but if it's like an ebook and you haven't finished it just put coming soon showcase it and make it it gets people ready oh wow this person's writing a book I look forward to reading it so there you have it 17 steps to the perfect LinkedIn profile so before I end with this training I wanted to go over over a few last things for you to remember is that I'll start with social proof 
Uh, your social proof is, uh, like I mentioned earlier, when you have recommendations, people want to see uh, third-party recommendations and know, see what other uh, good things that people are saying about you so they can trust you. Uh, the social proof is very important to your success. So if you look credible, then people are gonna, going to work with you. So this is why LinkedIn is the most powerful social media tool to position yourself as a credible leading expert in your industry. So being seen as an expert will give you more clients. You will attract the right clients who can afford to pay you what you are worth more money so stop thinking you need to reduce your prices when you're an authority in your market clients expect to pay more for your services so you, that's something that you really have to realize and that that's why it's so key to have a fully optimized LinkedIn profile because your your sales are gonna go up instantly because you're gonna be able to charge more uh, to the people who work with you so another thing being seen as an expert will give you is more influence if you do what you do because you love it and really want to help people then you need to expand your reach to get your message out there and that's what you can do with connections on LinkedIn another thing is uh, being an expert uh, gives you the ability to do less selling you need to know how to sell your service to, to be successful. But when you are an authority on your topic, people will seek you out without much selling required on your part. And lastly, sustainable success. Building relationships are essential to the success of any business. LinkedIn is an amazing platform to do this when you use it right. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this training on the 17 steps for the perfect LinkedIn profile and I just wanted to end with the last step for you is to apply this to your LinkedIn profile right now so once I finish talking go through the video again pause when necessary and go through each of the 17 steps so you can get the most out of your LinkedIn and really expand your business through LinkedIn Alright guys, talk to you later.